one tough son of a bitch, man. I tell you, they don't make them like that anymore. You know, this guy was six foot five, maybe. Thanks. Hey, did I ever tell you about Dunko? Yeah, about a thousand fucking times. Man, he was a mean one. <laughs> I remember back in 47, he took on these three scumbags in his pool hall and boing, yeah, boing, I mean, I'm telling you, they looked like a couple of rag dolls during a tornado. tornado. What a mess. I think I'll have another. Yeah. Everyone feared the Donko. Man, he was the toughest son of a bitch I ever saw. Tough, tough as nails. Mean, mean. Big, tough, and mean. You think you know mean? Huh? You don't know shit. I'll tell you about mean. You ever heard of Gino Minetti? No. Lucky for you, because he used to own this very place. That used to be his booth, right over there. I mean, this guy was so feared, he once grilled a chef's face for overcooking his angel hair pasta. Argentine! Pop, name is Otegriega. Argentine! Argentine! Tell that new chef to cook my pasta al dente oh. next time. Yeah. And Gino's right-hand man was Dominic Piazza. They grew up together in Little Italy and have been friends ever since Gino killed his father. They said it had something to do with being served tomato sauce from a jar. How about you, Dante? And then there was Dante, a simpleton half-breed. He was secretly in love with Argentine and was the only one who could pronounce her name correctly. Now, Jimmy D, he was a speed freak. He thought of himself as a real ladies' man, and he liked to hit on other guys' wives. And he didn't care if they were there. Hey, Cal. Hey, what are you doing? They never said a fucking thing. And then there was Gino's son, Polly. There's always a Polly. The only thing that Polly hated more than people were valets. You want to move my new car three whole feet so I have to give you a buck fifty so you can move it back? Three whole feet? No, sir. Probably, I, I, Good. I, 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 I. So I seem to have a nice spot right here. What the fuck would possess me to move it? Nothing? That's right. Unlike all wise guys, Polly was a cheap prick. He never sprang for a fucking thing. And Jose, I come back and I smell a scratch on this car. I'm gonna have you deported. Extremely so. What are you looking at? Well, what do you think? Oh! Get the fuck out of here! Nacho, Elisan. Gracias. You know, it's really smart for VP customers, Paulie. Clean the floor. Teresa was Polly's only sister. She loved him so much, she wanted to stick a fork in his eye. You're late. Yeah, I, uh, I know. I bought a new car. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What'd you use for money? The money for my first communion. Well, it's inventory time, and you're late. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Give Dominic this week's scores. Uh, okay. Uh, Joe Greek paid up. Hey, yeah, what about the... Show him an hoax. He's okay. Take him back to me next week. Yeah, what about Pasadena? 2468. No problem. You sure? Yeah. Good. Good. So what's the big deal with this Gino Manetti, huh? Gino Manetti. He was uh the head of the 
East Valley Toluca Lake Manetti family. And Dominic's dream was to outdo yeah. Sonny Corleone by getting 50 See, bullet wounds and still survive. Back in 66 in the Gamboli family war. That's a beauty, Dom. Wait, wait. Look. Look. Oh, you see those two? 88. 1988, that was a Tortellini uh, feud. What do you do? I turn my back for a minute, you're doing a script tape. You got work to do. What about the Chinaman? I saw him yesterday, said he forgot. But then I should come by later tonight and he'll be ready. He forgot. Somebody should put a bullet in his head, you see how fast he'll remember. What do we got here? Come on, give me a break, will you? Everybody knows the Irish are tougher than the Italians. The Irish? Yeah, the Irish. Hang on. I'm getting to the Irish. Now, on the west side of the valley was the Van Nuys Mulrooney clan, run by Big Patty Mulrooney. Unfortunately, this sweet disposition didn't carry over to his own litter. Like his son, Donnie, the busboy Mulrooney. He was like a Tasmanian devil. He had a twin brother who got killed in a car crash. And ever since then, Donnie has only traveled by bus. You fucking betray him, bitch. I'll kill him first. Then there was Tommy Smiley O'Doul. Now, whoever nicknamed him that had no idea what the future would bring. This guy hadn't smiled in over a decade. He ate, slept, and shit vengeance. Ever since his girlfriend, Colleen, ran off with his best friend. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Patty's eldest son, Jocko, was an AA hardliner. <laughs> He'd given up booze, and his new compulsion was golf. You know, be to the left again. I think you should go with the seven iron and take into consideration the 50 mile per hour wind factor out of the southwest. Trust me. I know. Now, Coastal Eddie, his life revolved around warm weather. He hated the cold and made it his daily ritual to avoid it at all cost. And every once in a while, Jocko liked to combine a little work with pleasure. <laughs> Stop. Like with Ricky the Rat. Yeah, I know you just might be onto something there, Coastal. Stop! Stop! Ricky! Stop. It's your last chance. Talk. Jocko, I... No, I don't know. Get the wood. It was probably the Eddie. Oh, I swear! It was Paulie Benetti on my mother's grave! It was my... It was on my mother's grave! Yeah, mother's not even dead. Ah! 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 The only thing that Jocko hated more than rats were people trying to play through. Jocko's sister, Mary, was the only Mulrooney that actually worked in the restaurant. Although they could only assign her to one table. And she still managed to turn a burger and a beer into a three ring circus. Patty's wife, Catherine, she never asked and she didn't want to know. She was happy as long as the boys were well fed and they enjoyed a peaceful family meal together. It's right in front of you. The salt, please. It's right fucking in front of you. As a sign. A sign of what? Loyalty. I need to know you can be trusted. Dad, I don't want to be a waitress anymore. You're going to college. You got to work. Good idea. But I don't want to go to college. I want to be an actress. You see, after years of rejection in vaudeville, Patty's favorite uncle performed his swan song off the Y in the Hollywood sign. I don't want to ever hear that word again, ever. You're going to college, and that's it. I knew the seven iron was your club. Uh -huh. Break a hundred ton? You could say so. Go away, Mary. Why do I always have to leave? Daddy's got business, honey. Well, I'm part of this family, too. Oh, I know, I know. You're gone, Mary. Was that cocksucker pulling with Eddie? He did the Eagle Rock school. Reliable source? <sighs> Set up a meet. 
prominent Chinese businessman, Yashimoto Maitai, was murdered this morning in what appears to be an assassination. With more on this, we go now to Monica Jones. Ted, I am live on the courthouse steps of the criminal court building in Burbank, where Yashimoto... Dante. I think I have my dessert now, Sotoko Riega. Oh, oh, okay. Um, but I have to uh, go say goodbye to my sister. It's okay? Okay. I bring you. Yes. Okay. About six feet tall and slender, around 40 years in age, wearing a gray pullover shirt and having gray tumbleweed like hair. Dante, come over here. What are you going to do? Good cannoli. Good. Listen, Dante. You cannot take everything I say literally. What do you mean? I know your work, kid. You mean uh, a Chinaman? Yeah, a Chinaman. I mean, you said uh, somebody ought to put a bullet in his head and that'll help him remember. That was just a figure of speech. Something that you didn't mean. Uh, it's like. I mean, what if. Forget about it. You just let me know when you're gonna do something like that again, okay? That should be happy. Yeah, well, I am happy. I am. But we gotta be more careful. You did good, kid. Now go finish that cannoli. Over there. Okay. Okay. It's a sick world out there. <laughs> Phone call, Bob. Yeah. Gino? Jocko. We need to set up a meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you, Joel. No. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's no problem. Hey, you left your cell phone here. Yeah. All right, I'll be here. So what happened? What happened with what? I went with Gino and Big Patty. I mean, was there a bloodbath? What? A bloodbath? What are you talking about? You were telling me you... Oh, right. A bloodbath. No. You see, what happened was the next day they met in the back settle the dispute. So, what do I owe the honor? Word is, you boys have been pulling off some scores on Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. What the hell is that? It's a big rock that looks like an eagle. It's a little place in between Glendale and Pasadena. Huh? You know of this place, Polly? No. I've seen a few rocks that look like big fucking potatoes. Fuck you, you dick motherfucker! That's enough! That's enough! Get away from the table! You! Polly, get away from the table. Kids today, no respect. Sign of the times. I don't know. No problem. Anyway, it was my understanding that we had Glendale and you had Pasadena. Yeah. Now, technically, Eagle Rock is part of Glendale. Mm. Right. I'm sorry about the misunderstanding. Eagle Rock is yours. My son sometimes is too ambitious. I don't know where he gets it from. Oh, just so you know, I'm going into semi-retirement. So my son Jocko here is going to be handling family affairs. Good. I 
I wish you luck in your retirement. Semi. Semi. I want you to have some lunch, huh? Uh, you know, Italian food just bothers my, you know, I get I insist. Sure, why not? Teresa? Right here, Teresa, you give my friends anything they want. Couple of short scores, big deal. That's our turf. The kid's only here for long, boss. The hardcore. Forget about it. it. Forget about it. It's a fucking rock. Give it to him. Not worth spilling blood over. Look at the shit. Fucking guineas will eat anything. Shut up and show some respect. Colleen used to make a great lasagna. That fucking bitch. I gotta go. The weatherman says there's a cold front moving in. Yeah, I gotta get out of here too. My bus is coming any minute. Get over here and eat. You can catch the next one. <sighs> Fucking mix eating here. That's enough. Now listen. I'm talking to you. You take the money back to them later today. What are you nuts? It's embarrassing. We're like a bunch of punks in front of these jerk offs. One more word from you, and I'm gonna beat you like a red-headed stepchild. That's back-to-back -back compound adjectives. Then there were these two morons, Detectives Bailey and Miller, Burbank's finest. You see, Burbank is the bottom of the barrel, and these guys want it out. You know, I don't get it. All that unnecessary gratuitous sex on TV today. Whatever happened to plain, good old-fashioned, clean fun? Oh, I don't know. Back then, the girls were just as sexy, but you never saw Marianne trying to hump the professor in the hammock. He took that for granted. That's exactly my point. Here they come. You gotta put it in reverse. <laughs> you know, if you ask me, all these guys sound like a bunch of pussies. Is that right? You bet your ass. You know what the Dunko would have done to settle this dispute? He would have broken all their fucking necks. Oh, would he? Yeah. Well, that's where you're wrong, tough guy. Oh. These guys would never start a war over something as petty as that. They needed something personal. I mean, after all, that's the only time it's worth killing someone. Am I right? Come on, quicker! But I'm getting ahead of myself. When it came to crime, these guys were poetry in motion. Call in, you bitch. I'll kill their children and their children's children. Call in. Give me the next to you, son of a bitch. That's it. Now back up against the mirror. Back up. Back up. Let me make a show again. I'm sorry. I could have sworn it was them. They could have been twins. Dad, you gotta do something. Have a talk with Smiley for Christ's sake. He's, he's totally losing it. Today he was supposed to be our wheel man, and I told you, Jocko, I'm in semi retirement. Dad, he scares me. I mean, he could have a flashback at any second, and the next thing you know, I'll be winding up face down in the beef stew with a slug in the squash. All right. Send him over. 
Get out of here. I mean, they could have been cousins. That's all. That's it. Hey. The old man wants a word with you. Sit down, Smiley. You gotta put this behind you, kid. She's gone, and nothing's gonna bring her back. I know, but it's just there. It won't go away. You think killing this mope is gonna make you feel better? Yeah. I have to. It's my destiny. Do you think you could at least obsess about this on your own time? Can't have you losing focus on the job. It's really starting to affect your work. I'm sorry. I told you these Protestant girls were bad news. I know. Then maybe you should take some time off. You know, go to the islands, get laid. No. I'll feel better if I just kill someone. Okay. Go with Costa later. Let him do the deed. Okay. And if all goes well, we'll take it from there. I'll tell you right, big guy. I know. Matters of the heart, huh? Uh, what are you gonna do? Keep an eye on this loony tune, all right? I once killed a guy for betraying me. I just thought I should share that with you. Good afternoon, boys. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. Here for the corned beef special? I don't suppose the name uh, Rusty Mikado would ring a bell. Rusty Mikado? Can't say that it does. Hmm? Well, maybe this will refresh your memory. You may know him as Ricky the Rat. Oh, that guy. <laughs> no. We found him slumped over the throne with a couple of unwanted blemishes in his forehead. Oh, bathrooms can be a very dangerous place. I was just reading an article about that the other day in a newspaper while I was wrapping my fish. All right, cut the shit. Well, that's what I'm talking about. They said that 90% of your fatalities happen in a john. It's a fact. Yeah, isn't it a fact also that he was into you for 50 big ones? <laughs> Well, what would I know about that? This is a family business. In my free time, I, I paint puppies. Eh? Matter of fact, your, your chief has got one hanging over his, his desk. Maybe you've seen it. Think you're real cute, don't you? Well, my wife seems to think so. <laughs> Every dog has his day. Yeah. Jimmy D used to hang out at Bob's Big Boy because he had these delusions of being a movie star, you know? It wasn't that he couldn't act, it was just that, well, he was a homicidal maniac. Well, what's that? Huh? Hey, she's with me now. No, no, she's good. She's let it enjoy, they got nice burgers in there. Burgers, fries. That's Bob's Big Boys. The best burgers in town. Get the car. We're looking here. Get the car already. <laughs> I was working. I was doing, doing a little business. I was sitting, you know where I was sitting back there? In the same seat De Niro sat in heat. The same seat. The same seat. I was sitting in the same seat. Fucking great. Fuck Bob's big boy. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's my man Bob's big boy. Don't mess with my man. Place is happening, Paul, here, right? David Lynch hangs out in there. Who the fuck is David Lynch? Who's David Lynch? Not for nothing, Paul. He's only, like, one of the biggest directors in Hollywood, all right? Yeah. What do you direct? What? Were what you, what you raised by apes? What do you direct? Come on. How about Blue Velvet, Eraserhead, which I'm sure you have never seen, Twin Peaks, all right? Who killed Laura Palmer? Laura Palmer? Laura Palmer? Isn't that that loud mouth bitch we played three times at him? Dominic did, you dumb bastard. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me out of the car. Let me out. You guys are like uncultured, completely un hey, Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck me. 
You know what your problem is? I don't know the perk. You know what the problem is, Dante? They're small hands. You know what that means? Now, Gino's restaurant tour status had begun to decline in the past few years due to uh, an inconsistent menu. But the Toluca Lake residents continued to love and praise him for his fight against graffiti vandals. What's up? <laughs> yeah, how's that feel now, Julio? <laughs> Make sure you tell your friends. I'm so hungry. Yeah, let's go chat out. No, you two can go with me. You and me, we gotta give the Nick back his money. Oh, fuck that. I'm hungry. We'll eat over there. They always won. I ain't eating that shit. Stop yakking. Now, let's go. Mr. Gibson is very late. I was going to talk to him the other night, but it was a little too chilly out. They have a Santa Ana condition today. Coastal. A little too late for talk. What national capital is heated by underground hot water springs? Reykjavik, Iceland. Bury it. I got something for the old man. Wait a minute. Gino wants you to have this as a token of trust. Ah, oh, that's very sweet. Now we can finally panel the rec room. <laughs> Give Gino my thanks. Yeah, all right. Hey, uh, stay and have something to eat. We got a nice boiled dinner, early bird special. Oh, that we're good. Thank you. I insist. Mary? Yeah. Take care of these fine gentlemen. Uh, we'll eat over on this side. Fuck me. Pop, why are you letting them grease balls eat here, huh? You shut your fucking gob. Don't count that. Can I get you anything to drink? Yeah, Red, I'd like a uh, nice glass of Chianti and some fava beans. Um, I don't think we have those. Uh, we'll have a half a craft of your house, Red. Okay. You're a wise guy. They'll take us out of here in potato sacks. I can't eat this peasant shit. Then just order a burger. The fucking thing will probably be green. Okay. Gotta keep fo focus, big guy. I, I got it. What's going on? They're making a friendly house call. Jesus Christ, Pop. That guy's a loose cannon. He shouldn't be out in the field. He should be in a fucking nut bomb. Jocko, everybody deserves a second chance. Do you remember the Bushmill days? Oh, Hold on, stick it, please. Where are you going? It's I'm going tonight. I'm going to a fucking meeting. That's where I'm going. Let me kill him, Costo. No. Come on, please. Big, Big Patty doesn't have to know. Just listen to your tape. Okay. Tommy. You can do it. Okay. I can do it. Just gotta keep, keep, keep focused. You are serene. Three, three, Your inner mind three, is a sea of three, love. Three, you are filled mm. with harmony mm. and peace. Mm. Everything mm. around you mm. is calm mm. and peaceful. Mm. Can you drink that piss? It's free. Ah. <clears throat> Let's go. Well, I gotta see those. Do the tip for once. There.
Dad, I can't let him. Dad, they stiff me. What? They stiff me. And low life fucking wop, Dago, spaghetti chewing greaseball motherfuckers. Did you give them good service? Yeah. Now, this is important, Mary. I did, I swear. What'd they have? Um, they had a half crap of red and um, a Moroni burger and um, corned beef dinner. A corned beef dinner? Mm-hmm. Them frugal fucks! <laughs> and nothing pissed Donnie off more than frugal fucks. Except maybe an erratic bus schedule. And the more buses he had to take, the more pissed off he got. But, but they're only two days old. I don't give a shit. I want everything fresh. But the food cost is too much. So nobody walks out of Manetti's without fresh veggies. You understand? You understand? What's that? Didn't like it. What do you mean you didn't like it? This is beautiful. What table? 23. It's been busting my butt for an hour. Pop, I'm gonna be late for class. Well, you go to class. I'll take care of this. Fresh veggies. I'm not interested in playing games, okay? I'm finished playing games. No, because you, I tell you one thing and you tell me something else. He gets five gross points or we walk. Yeah. No, I, I can't, my hands are tied. Uh, please. Yeah, no, no, it's non-negotiable. Uh, contract on my desk. Excuse but, me. Uh, do you see that I'm on the phone? By the end of today or no movie, chat. Can I help you? Yes, was there a problem with the Yoso Buko? It just didn't hit me right. It didn't hit you right? Yes. Well, that surprises me. Because uh, I take great pride in the cuisine of my restaurant. I don't want to brag, but we were voted the best Italian restaurant in the whole valley three years in a row. Well, uh, I don't mean to be rude, but that's the valley. Hello. I've had many finer Italian meals on the west side. Oh, I'm sure you have. Yeah. Afraid so. I know you. I don't think so. Oh, yes, I do. Hey, wait a second here. You're the, the, the newspaper boy on the corner, Studio City. I don't sell papers anymore. Hey, what's your name again? Uh, Joey? Jimmy. Can I just have a little piece uh, uh, here? Joel. Is it Joel. possible? Joel, the newspaper boy. Hey, Dominic. We got Joel, the newspaper boy. You remember Ventura and Laurel? Yeah, I don't sell papers anymore. Oh, I'm sure you don't. I'm sure, I'm sure you've climbed high in this world, huh? What do you do? I'm an agent at ICE. Well, junior agent, but not for long. Oh, I hear they're very good. Yeah, we get by. Well, I'm sorry about all this, Joel. I didn't know who I was dealing with. Now, let me get your spumoni on me. That's okay. I, I really have to take off. I insist. Spumoni himself. Now let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. You gotta get out of here. And two hours later, Donnie was still one bus stop away. Sambukuta. How's this Pomoni? Okay. Will you listen to this kid? <laughs> okay. Come out over the bar. I'll get you some buka. Thanks, but I really gotta get going now. Ah, uh, you're gonna hurt my feelings, Joel. I'm trying to make amends here. 
Well, have one Sambuca, then you can go out and conquer all of Hollywood. Okay. Dominic, look at this fucking kid. <laughs> Armani suit. Hey, what do you got here? Rolex watch. <laughs> you must be doing pretty good. I hold my own. I'll bet you do. I'll bet you do. Well, to your health. To my health. Oh, you see, that's disrespectful. You're supposed to say, to your health. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever? Whatever? <clears throat> what? Ever. Hey, oh, wait a minute. There's only two beans in there. That's bad luck. Isn't there supposed to be three? Well, listen to this kid. He knows the culture. <laughs> I know the culture. Manja. Manja. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, eat. That's right. <laughs> what else do you know? Uh, Fra Diablo. Fra Diablo. <laughs> hey. Putanesca. Putanesca. <laughs> <laughs> So Buko didn't hit you right? How did that hit you? All right, let me out here. Open Sorry. the doors. Sorry, man. I can't let you out here. I gotta get out here. Open the door. Can't let you out here, Open man. the door! Sorry about that. God damn it! Mm. Mm. What are you doing? Hey, fuck these agents. You don't kill them good, they multiply. Yeah, now he's okay. Should we plant it under the cedar? Ah, uh, receiver's too good for this pretentious piece of shit. Get him out of here. Okay, up, oh, up. Oh. Ah. Okay. Out the back. Not out the front, out the back. Oh. We got it, boss. What are you going to do? Where's Polly? She ain't here. Nobody stiffs my sister. The hell are you talking about, Donnie? This is what I'm talking about. devil himself. Nothing but pure evil. Over a tip? That's right, tough guy. Tipping is a sign of respect. And these guys prided themselves on respect. As all men should. You know, this is beginning to sound real good. I'll take another. And then things got really out of control. He's gonna be happy. You did good, son. Big guy. You'd have been proud of me. I had it totally under control. It's more than so. Big Patty. Daddy, How's my father? What were you? Shut up, how is he? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Get off of me! What were you? I was at a retirement party. What did you do? I permanently retired him, okay? How is he? This is all your fault. What's my fault, Teresa? What's my fault? You had to go and do it, didn't you? Fuck them! The service sucked. Now get out of here. The service sucked? Get out of here! The service sucked? Get out of here! Go! Tell me, how's my old man? Down. How is he? Dominic's. Dominic's gonna make it. He's fucking Superman. <laughs> I didn't ask you about Dominic. How's my father? The old man's on the critical list, Paulie. We'll know something tomorrow. 
what? They're still alive. Shit! Both of them? Yeah. Gino's at St. Joe's. What do you want to do? Dominic survived, per usual. <laughs> Three bullets point blank. And he checked out of the hospital in an hour and a half. I wasn't so lucky this time. The bullet lodged right in the pancreas. And they tell me uh, I might have problems uh, producing insulin. Who the hell cares? I'm not a diabetic. The other one, it bounces off a, a rib here and it shoots right out my back. And technically speaking, that should count for 50 wounds, you know? Good work, though. So how's it going around here? It's all right. No sign of the hops. Who do you got watching over the old man? Jimmy Day. You nuts? The first candy striper that walks by, he's gonna be in the closet, bing, bam, boom, and the old man's a memory. It's all right, Dom. It's been one. Oh, we should move him anyway. I can't trust those leprechaun bastards. They're gonna come right down through the chimney. He was really starting to get the hang of it. Get it out of here. It was a beautiful service. As funerals go. <laughs> I meant weather-wise. It could have been worse. So, you happy? That's dead. Are you happy? You want to blame this on me? Those fucks had it coming to them. May the wind always be at your back. May the hills never be too steep. And may God always rest on your pillow when you're fast asleep. Now let's kill this fuck. When's it gonna end with you? When they're all dead. Did you see this? Huh? That's dad's blood. You wanna let that go unanswered? I want them all fucking dead. And you think that's gonna solve everything, huh? Yeah, that's enough! What is wrong with you two? Your father's not in the ground for an hour and look at you. Ma, talk. Shut up! And you, get over here. How dare you disrespect your father in my presence? My, was out of control. Shut up and listen for once in your life. Now, I loved your father, but you didn't get your balls from him. You got them from me. Now you find that little prick, Polly, and you kill him good. And if you can't do it, I'll find someone who can. What are you doing? You know, you're making me nervous. Talk to me, Coastal. There's been no movement from the house. It looks like a lockdown. You think you can take him out with a high-powered rifle? 
If the conditions are dry, I can take a weasel out from a mile away with a slingshot. What are you doing? We're staying out of trouble. So you guys going against Ma's wishes? None of your fucking business. Taking him out like that ain't gonna solve anything. I'll tell you what we gotta do. Hold on. Here's what you gotta do. We gotta kill this guy in such an inhumane way that will break every ethical code imaginable. They'll have to call a truce. Why the change of heart? Because you're gonna do it anyway. And then they're gonna have to come back and kill you. What do you suggest? He goes to this uh, Korean massage parlor in Sun Valley. I can do that. Sorry. It's just the sun thing got me excited. Anyway, he goes there religiously on Thursday to get his Mickey whip. And what makes you so sure he's not gonna stay home and whip his Mickey himself? Because as sick as this son of a bitch is, he has high moral standards. I wish I could say the same. So do I. And all we have to do is come up with the uh, sickest plan imaginable. Huh? Oh, no. Come These on. are very personal. Smiley, come on, you gotta give us one. No can do. Okay. I put years of thought into these. We know they're all your babies, Smiley. But you gotta think about the bigger picture. Okay. Yeah. But only if I get to do the deed. Oh, no way. He is mine. Get it. All right, listen. We can come to some sort of a compromise. We're not gonna leave any witnesses. Huh? Incentive. Huh. I like it. Come on. Okay, here goes. Mind you, this is just a work in progress. Cut off his dick, show it to him, make him squirm, then cut off his fucking head, stick his dick in his mouth, and mail it to his father. <clears throat> in a perfect world, it would have been a girlfriend, but hey, you can't have it all. Why, why? What? Number three, Whitey Russell. Know where he is. Number two, Manny Negrano. Know where he is. And America's number one most sought after criminal, Toddy Newberry. Know where he's buried. If you have any information that lead to Anyone new make the All Star team? Nah. They don't give a rookie a break on this show. Where are you going? Going out. You can't go out, Paulie. Crack it up in here. I feel like I'm in a coffin. I need some release. Holly, get back here. Holly! I know where you're going. Hey, Bye -bye. hey, go after him. Feeding a bed up, Hoity? Oh, yeah. It would harder. Uh, my good day? There you go. Oh, uh, you might be able to get the customer party. Uh, I take a very good look at you. Yeah, I know you do. Ready for Mr. Happy Time? Oh, big time. I'll be right back. Okay. That's disgusting. So, Polly's on his way over there when this really funny thing happens. Wait a second. What, well, you, you just told me the pony had his nuts lopped off. I did? Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, that was the plan, but it never really happened. Something got in the way. I don't understand. Well, somebody got to him first. What the hell do you want? I tell you the rest, but you gotta go, right? Hey, thanks very much. So then what happened? So, Jimmy D's on his way over there when, uh... Wait a minute, what the... Give me Polly. Right, Polly. Good old Polly. Wanna watch out, buddy? Excuse me. Yeah, no. Shit. Polly didn't show. You said he'd be there. He underestimated his willpower. Pull it over. I gotta kill somebody. No. Pull it over, Coastal. I gotta kill somebody. We don't do business like that. Take a vote. I vote somebody dies. What do you say, Coastal? He is in a lot of pain. All right. Who's smiling? Mm. Come on already. All right, the next person I see. Come on, you said the next one! I can't. It reminds me of my grandfather. This reminded me of mine. I'd speed up. Pussy. I... I feel better. It's so crazy. Time out. Yeah, yeah, be quick. Get down here. Paulie's dead. Oh, shit. All right, I'll be right there. Go, baby, go. Come on. Oh, are oh. Right here, baby. Get down here. You look good. The old man, though? I'll tell him in the morning. Tell him what? Tell him what, Dominic? They got Paulie. What do you mean? Oh, my God. Honey, you don't have to know how. How? What's the difference? He's dead. I don't want anybody to leave. We need everybody. They got to order out. Maybe we do a fast food delivery hit. They're fucking grease balls, all right? They got enough pasta to last a lifetime. Then you suggest something. I say we just blow up the whole fucking house. No. There could be animals inside. They are animals. I'm talking about cats and dogs. Maybe even a parakeet. Hey. Somebody got to him first. You son of a bitch! I told you!
you he was mine. I didn't do it. Like how you didn't, you couldn't wait, huh? You didn't do it. Read it. He was killed while we were at the Koreans. I'm waiting. Go fuck yourself. Come on, they're gonna think we did this thing anyway. We gotta find out who the hell really did it. What does it matter? Principal. I don't want anybody else interfering with our work. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a lovely one it is. At least for some of us. I don't suppose any of you fine gentlemen would know anything about this, would you? It's a crazy world. All right, let's cut the crap. Where were you? I was with him. And I was with him. And I was with them. Ah. And where was that? Bowling. Bowling. You know what? I should just let you guys kill each other off, but that wouldn't give me the satisfaction of putting you away and knowing that you're going to become some big inmate's boy toy for the rest of your life. You got to have a dream, don't you? Oh, we do. You will fuck up, and we will be there. Yeah. We'll see. Huh? Never show any weakness, sweetheart. That's death. Where's Paulie? I gotta talk to him. I don't know. I think he went out somewhere. Yeah, where you find him? Tell him we gotta go back to business. I'll try. Number two, Manny Negrano. And America's new, number one most sought after criminal, Dominic Piazza. Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now for a segment of felony focus. Congratulations. This week we bring you the story of a felon who is being called the serial Honey, did you tell him yet? Couldn't do it. You gotta tell him. paulie has gotta go on the ground already. Just the one to have a heart attack. He's just regaining his strength. He's a big man. He could take it. We gotta tell him. We got a situation here. He was last seen fondling a female patron at Bob's Big Boy in Toluca Lake, California. The assailant is described as a Caucasian male, 35 to 40 years old, five feet five inches tall, with dark hair, and a severe case of male pattern baldness. If you have any information that the police are ready to convict of this felon. Please contact our anonymous tip number 555 to get felon. Get off! Sorry, I'm just trying to be nice. Come here, it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Thanks, Dante. Thanks. Get Chuck on the phone. Chaco, Gino, we need to end this. You know Desert Hot Springs? Yeah. Yeah, I've been there before. Let's make it noon. Yeah. No games. We will be there. No games. <laughs> They want to meet. Where? Out in the desert. By the hot springs. Colleen and I used to go out there all the time. That fucking bitch. What do you think? Did you ever go to a meet where somebody didn't die? Yeah. 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 Everybody else did. And you're sure it's not a setup, right? Do I look like Johnny Lunch Bucket to you? Of course it's a setup. Dante. Postal. 
There you Break go. Out. Got the Are you going to tell me when Jimmy D is or not? Que pasa el vato? Jimmy D parked her sister. So should we tell her? You're fine. You don't have to tell me because I'm going to find him myself. It's okay. Where's Mija? So you want to know where Jimmy D is? We meet halfway. Jacqueline and me get out of the car. You know, you almost got killed. Did I tell you to knock? I know I gave you a key, but you're supposed to knock. You're not supposed to just walk in. No, oh, first. So, what happened? Can I come in? How we tell? Who is it? How'd it go? I found the perfect spot. Great, let's see. I got me a really good spot. Right there. All right, where was I? Anything goes wrong. Right, look, I'll hit the deck, you come and pick me up at the car, Donnie will cover from the passenger seat. Anything goes wrong, you take out Jocko. Right between the eyes. Yeah, well, anywhere in that vicinity would be very good. Dominic! Pull the car up, get you. Jimmy D plugs anybody that's around. Good. Okay. Now we can eat. Are you sure the bus boy's gonna get in the car? He said he would just this once. What does he do? 10.45. Why couldn't we get a nicer place with room service? You said nobody would ever look for us in a dump like this. I know what I said! Jesus Christ, take it easy, will you? You're gonna give yourself a heart attack, huh? And we only got two bags of that VI left. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dante. Now one of us has to go. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm going. Well, you be careful, eh? All right. I'm just gonna go to the taco joint down the road. Pick up some tacos, come back. Um, make mine mild. Mild. Oh, fuck that. I ain't eating no red dog. We eat Italian or we don't eat at all. We're in the middle of the fucking desert. I don't care. Mexican food is a bad omen. Don't you remember that, that, that Ensenada incident? Huh? Pinky would still be alive if I didn't have to take a dump. That was because of Montezuma's revenge. I never tasted the water. It was that fucking burrito! It went through me like I was a one-eyed bodyguard! Okay, okay, easy does it. Easy does it. Look, yeah, look around out there, okay? But don't go out so far because we don't have that much time. I'm just gonna go around to more. Just take two minutes. Is that my razor? Turn the air conditioning off. It's getting too cool. Are you crazy? It's 110 degrees out. Where are you going? I can't take the cold. You can't go out there. I can't take the cold.
Where's Donny? He didn't show. Get down to the bus station to find out what happened to him. This is not good. This is not good at all. God, grant me the serenity. Hey. What's the problem? Do I look like a stupid mechanic? No. Okay, then don't ask me such stupid questions. Hey, what are you yelling at me for, huh? I just came over here to help you. You stupid fucking Mexican bitch. Hey, I am not Mexican. I'm Argentinian. Tú no tienes nada que Ay, Dios mío, por qué? Fucking Argentinian bitch. <laughs> Come on, get my food, man. Get my food. Senora, nana, nana. Ebo el fire. Ebo el fire. Ebo el fire. I like to play rough, you know that? Jimmy D likes it. Hey, man, that's my wife. Yeah? What's that? What's that? What's that, Chico? Huh? Leave her alone. I'm just giving her a little kiss. Hey! I said... Come on, kiss Jimmy D. Leave her alone! All right. Give her a little keto kissy. You want a burrito? I'll buy you a burrito. How are you today? Let's be a good change. Where are you going? Try it now. Aren't you coming? Uh, no. Come on, I haven't got all day. Come on. I am a very good driver. I won't kill you. Come on. There's only one person I want to kill. You keep an eye on things. I'll go check it out. run over by the bus. What happened? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I went in to check the bus schedule when I came out Smiley's dead in the street. This is fucking great. This is not good. This is not good at all. What you doing? 
do it small. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking clubs. Put the bags in the back. I don't want you to shoot until it's absolutely necessary. Now you repeat that after me. No shooting until absolutely necessary. Good. Good. So, we can go now. <sighs> No way, Donnie would never be in a car. I'm telling you, it's him. Where the hell are you? A fucking cow! What? A fucking cow demolished my bus! Come on, we gotta get out of here! What about the meat? Forget about it! No, no, we got 15 minutes! Screw it! It's over! So I missed the bus, alright? Smiley didn't. What? Smiley's dead. He got hit. He got hit by the bus you were supposed to be on. How the hell did he do that? How the hell did he do anything? He had a rubber stamp that said, return to sender on his forehead since day one. Well, screw it. We'll go without him. Let me ask you something. What do you think's gonna happen if me and him are out of the car? Are you gonna drive? Squirrel moves, you take it out. Oh, what is that for? Squirrels. Hey, just don't miss. Don't worry about me, bus boy. Let's go, honey. Come on, we're on. I told you those cabbage heads aren't gonna show.
Uh, that's what's up here. Yeah. You know, stupid. You lose a father, I lose a son. You know, it didn't have to happen. Yeah, well, it has to stop now. You know what? Trust. chingada madre Tática
close them out, folks. Close out. a dramatic change when a coastal eddy weather pattern will whack most of the west coast. Yeah, um, you know what? I ordered Bloody Mary and now, like, I got Tabasco snorting out of my nose. Can you explain that to me? Any word on the script? Yeah. He said it wasn't original enough. He said it just didn't hit him right. Our usual. That's all right. I got another idea. Hey, Joe. Need your phone. Made a few calls. It's okay, but you didn't turn it off. The battery's gone. I can't believe you still work here. Listen, I got a new idea. Like the last story? You want me to help you? Gangster films are hot again. What, you think you got a good story? Track you down where you go to the bitter end. 